Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Frag Chat with Smurfy and Smelly. So we're back with another one. We're putting these videos on my channel now and we used to have a separate channel for this. I've just not, my makeup looks really bad. Do I look? I've got like... What? On the camera it looks like I've like put really bad. Ah. It's like a, you see? Yeah, what have you done? Yeah, I'll put the wrong thing. I'll just wash it off, sorry. Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Frag Chat with Smurfy and Smelly. So, this week we've got our usual fun-filled episode of Fragrant Stuff, so we're going to have our, we'll tell you about our scent of the day. We're going to talk a little bit more about Pacific Rock Moss, I've got it right, and we're going to talk about our hauls, a couple of, uh, well, quite a few fragrances that we've all, uh, we've both bought since the last episode, and our exciting new blogs that we're hoping to start, and Jeremy's Ferrari. So, that all to come in the next fun-filled minute. And stay tuned to the end where we explain why we're not actually a couple anymore. So that's kind of juicy gossip, isn't it? So what's first on our okay. agenda? So we're going to start with our scent of the day. What's your scent of the day, Mr. Smelly? Uh, my scent of the day is uh, this one. Versace Man. So this is a 2003 release from Versace. I think it's Don Mathiel Michelon, the perfumer. Oh, right. And uh, it's renowned as being a, a really good tobacco type mm -hmm. scent. But we think there's quite a bit of other stuff in it. So what did you think of this one? Well, when we smelled it yesterday, it smelled like Play-Doh. Play-Doh? Yeah. yeah, okay. Um, let's have a smell now. Mm -hmm. uh, it's on there. It? I've got it on there. Yeah, now I can see that it's kind of tobacco. There's a little bit of freshness. Kind of a musky, a bit like Le Mail ish oh, okay. mm -hmm. feel. But Play-Doh as well. Okay. Play-Doh is... That's not how I was going to describe <laughs> it, but that's a good bit. Does everyone know what Play-Doh is? I think so. In America, yeah. Well, it's the stuff, the doughy stuff kids play with to make models when they're young. I don't know. I'm yeah, sure they would like know what it is. it's like coloured clay, but it doesn't set. And yeah, it smells and really it has nice. a distinctive smell that obviously... It's when attractive you're, it, to children, kind of like sweetie smell, isn't it? Probably a little bit, mm. yeah. Uh, and I guess it sticks in all our memories because it's a formative memory, I guess. Yeah. Uh, and that, well, yeah, officially it's got also angelica root in it okay, and yeah. quite a lot of wood, woody mm. notes. It's also got neroleum bergamot in the opening. Yeah, it's but quite you, sweet, isn't it? Ah, oh, that's interesting. You mm. think most people have said it's not that sweet because, oh, like, a lot sweet. of tobacco ones have a ton of vanilla mm, to sort mm, of go yeah. with it, but you, you find it sweet. I find it quite sweet. Okay, yeah. so quite dark, rich scent. Yeah, would yeah, you definitely say? rich. Yeah, fairly masculine. Fifty. I would happily wear it. Oh, okay. So I think it's unisex actually. I put it in my top ten most masculine <laughs> smelling scents video. So we obviously, <laughs> there, there you go. We generally it's have subjective, isn't it? Yeah. We usually have completely different descriptions of it. So if you see my video, I said nothing the same about it at all. So there you go. But you quite like it, didn't yeah, you? Yeah, no, you I, do, I do like it. Yeah, okay. I like it. And I like the Eau Fresh version. I think I prefer the Eau Fresh myself. But... Yeah, that's yeah. really popular. Mm. Um, and it does smell completely different, but they are from the, it's the same thing. Yeah. Uh, Versace Man Eau Fresh. What's your scent of the day? My scent of the day is... It's called Powder and Dust. Uh -huh. And it's from SP Parfums. I've just reviewed this one on my channel. It's the collaboration with Yana from Tom Elise and SP Parfums. Right. And what Yana, the Tom Elise channel. Yeah. Yeah, and she, she's done a fragrance yeah. with is it Sven Pritzkele? Yes. The perfumer. Very nice. Yeah. Yeah, I'm absolutely loving it. So this is uh, SP Parfums is, is a German gentleman, mm -hmm. Sven Pritzkele, and he's done quite a few other fragrances, one of which I really like called Lignum Vitae Forte. The colour of that. So, yeah, very rich kind of <laughs> fougere fragrance with a kind of earthy, uh, old school feel, but quite sweet and a bit of incense mm -hmm. in there as well. Real powerhouse. You're, and the, what, how do you describe this one in smell? Um, to me, it smells like lemon sherbets, flower pollen, um, caramelized iris root, right, and loads Can of I... other stuff. I just utterly adore it. It is for me my favorite release of the 
the year so far. Uh -huh. I'll put a link to Claire's yeah. video actually where she reviewed it in more depth. Um, you're, you're really smitten with that one, aren't yes, you? Yes, yeah. I am. So yeah. really interesting house. Do They're very overall quite very niche smelling, mm. aren't they? It's yeah, all, yeah. Very um, strong extract. Very niche. Farm. I would say that's one of the more wearable ones. That's m more mm -hmm. appealing, I think, to the, uh, the more normal okay. noses. Yeah, and they do have some, some uh, a real range of, of a completely mm. different all kinds of different things but very niche smelling and we've been pretty impressed with them yes and their performance seems the quite performance beast is outstanding mode. yeah so sp parfum is definitely worth checking out okay. so uh, briefly what happened to me oh, last night yes. so we were going to record this video last night when we were going to have a nice drink um bit of fun bit of sniffing but mr smelly put a little bit of a dampener on that <laughs> uh. <laughs> he turned up and I straight away said, I'm not feeling very well. Yeah, and you just thought, oh, well, he's just got I thought, oh, he's just got a bit of a tummy, right a a tummy yeah. upset, he'll be fine. And but you were talking to me, and I was, you know, I was interested. I was trying mm. to make an effort to be all right, and then I was gradually thinking, this is not, this does not feel good. <laughs> so I had a stomach ache, which I'd had since the morning, and it gradually grew and grew, and within about an hour of arriving, I was doubled up. Yeah. I was, I was literally doubled up on the bed, writhing in agony. I think it was food poisoning. Mm. And you actually you got I had to, the to point. call. We actually had to call um, the out of hours doctor number, which yeah. is uh, in England one one one, and they then called an ambulance. <laughs> because you just described what was happening, and yeah. according to their checklist, it was ambulance. They worthy. were concerned in case it could be appendicitis. Yeah. So or that kind um, of thing. They called an ambulance. Or heart attack. Or yeah, I don't know. But they um, by the, they said the ambulance is really busy. <laughs> Obviously, a Saturday night. I'm so, ashamed. so we're waiting for the ambulance, and then they, the ambulance ring uh, to sort of discuss your symptoms with you, see how you are, yeah, and decide that it's probably because you start to feel better. Well, luckily, in that half hour, somehow, I think the painkillers that I'd taken kicked in, and from from writhing in agony, not able to sort of stand up or sit down or do anything, uh, I, I it, it did actually dissipate, and I actually felt. Felt better. 80% better, which was a real yeah. surprise. So anyway... You even suggested a beer uh, at that point. You had to stop. And I uh, that wasn't a while <laughs> later, but yeah. Okay, so... So I recovered from a, what turned out to be an excruciatingly powerful batch of food poisoning that disappeared. So here, I'm, I'm all right so now. Alive. And it stopped me drinking last night. Yeah. So that's... Um, I probably added a day to my life expectancy. Yeah. So that's good. Anyway, so I survived that. Thank you. Claire was really uh, kind and helpful. Now... <laughs> If anyone's still with us, uh, Pacific... Pacific Rock Moss. Pacific Rock Moss. Not Specific Oak Moss. Specific Pacific Rock, Pacific Rock Moss, Moss is our next Pacific subject. So this... Pacific. Pacific, like the, the ocean. Pacific. Um, so what we're going to do... Here it is. This is, is by Goldfield and Banks. Sorry. We want to compare it to something that we I think it's similar to, and you agree it's quite similar to, don't you? Yep. So that's it. Yes. And let's spray some... So, this is a marine fresh citrusy kind of scent, as the juice colour, light blue, sort of suggests. It's had loads of reviews on YouTube, that's why I mentioned. Mm. Look, but Carlos, the Brooklyn Fragrance Lover, did a thing with Emitsu. Everyone's sort of done first impressions or bought a bottle to People review. People are blind buying it because they think they're going to get a fit bird. <laughs> Just because Demi Rawlins... Ah, said it's it? the best okay. fragrance ever. Right. Um, I think people are blind buying it because they think that the, the girls are going to fall at their ah. feet when they wear it. Okay. So. so, but we think it's a little bit similar to Hermes. Hermes, uh, what's it called? Un Jardin on the Mediterranean. Mm -hmm. Something or similar. Mm -hmm. um, so, I sprayed that here. Let's have a smell. Okay. Oh, you're going to swap them and yeah. test me? I think they're cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely, yeah. The specific rock moss. That's actually really good as well. The, the Hermes one's really nice. I love the nice. opening of that, but it does. It, it then becomes a bit figgy and not quite so nice. Okay. Um, mm, minty, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Anyway. <laughs> it's really nice. Specific rock yeah. moss. Yep. Pacific rock moss. Pacific rock moss. Is... You can smell like the fresh sea air, yep. the sea breeze. Definitely. And there's a, a sweet sweetness, a bit like a figgy kind of yeah. note. I agree, figures. I get that. Um, and I don't know, it's kind of an indescribable 
musky, sweet fruitiness. Yeah. Mari I think quite marine aquatic mm, but it's not, citrus. Because a lot of marine aquatics, to me, are not, are not very palatable. Okay. But this is very palatable. Right. It's not overdone. It's not no. like Invictus or, you know. No, no. It's not that kind it's of screechy or you know, uh, synthetic version of yeah. a marine that you get it maybe with Invictus. It could be like your aqua. modern day answer to cool water. Yeah. A more refined, mass appealing. Yeah. You know, cool water is mass appealing. It's definitely going to be mass appealing, yeah. You can't not like that. No, it's really nice. It reminds me of a little bit of Chanel a Your Homme Sport that I used to wear as my okay. signature scent, or Versace Pour Homme. Both have that light blue mm. juice kind of, a little bit like that. I don't maybe. think if a man was wearing this, mm. I'm going to drop my pants. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? I would hope not. No. <laughs> so it's nothing out of the ordinary. It's nice. But it is very pleasant. It's very pleasant. I'm going to give it a wearing and I'm going to review it on my channel just because. Yeah. It's clickbait, isn't it? Yes, it seems to be popular, <laughs> yeah. But it's, we do we do think it's really nice. Yes. But if, if we'd just not heard anything special about it, it, we wouldn't have probably come back to it and said, no. oh, wow, that's amazing. Mm. But it, it's very pleasant. And also a bit like Fico de Malfi by yeah, Aqua de Palma yeah. could be a valid Again, comparison. Yeah. So if Another you like things... Fig, figgy one. If you like things like that, it's worth checking it out. I would say it it's out, in the but, same um, ballpark. Uh, uh, same ballpark as this. Yeah. It's not like... It's not a... A clone. Yeah. It's not. Um, Do you want to test me which one's which or which one I like more? I think you'll definitely yeah. know. Um, right. So try that one first. Okay. Ready? Mhm. Mm okay. And then that one. Okay. So the second one's the the Hermes one. Yeah. But yeah. uh, they're both really nice. The Hermes one seems a little bit more stronger. depth to it and stronger at this point in time. Uh, but that one is but very. We had just sprayed that where was. Ah, uh, yeah, was I'm 10 sorry, yeah, so okay. Ago. So but just. Yeah, that does seem dense though. The Hermes seems a bit stronger, but I'll give it a full wearing and we'll see. Okay, so we quite we do like it, uh, and it's it's not hugely highly priced as niche fragrances go, is it? I don't it, know what the price unless is. Unless it's suddenly gone up. It was, it, I think it was a hundred something dollars mm. for a hundred mil, so it's, yeah, it's not hyper not expensive, relatively speaking. But yeah. there are other things out there. Mm that you might like just as much that haven't got the hype trade. So that's, that, that's it, Pacific yes. Rock Moss. We thumbs up, but we're not madly uh, excited. We're not loving it yet, but we haven't nah. given it a full wearing, so we will do that. Yeah, okay. Next. Uh, now, we have both had a significant purchasing spree. So we've got hauls to show you, and we'll try and whiz through them. So Claire? Okay. Uh, let's just do your whole haul okay. first. Okay, all right, the whole Go. lot. Yeah. So, I don't do backup bottles. I don't get why people do backup bottles. Mm -hmm. I mean, for some reason, I got myself a backup bottle <sighs> of Chalamar Souffle de Parfum. So, I've got the 50ml, which is the love in the lovely limited edition Peacock mm -hmm. um, bottle. Yeah. But I saw this online for a good price, and I'm, I was scared of running out, and something happened, and yeah. I, I've gone and done it and bought myself a backup. But look at that beautiful bottle. I only paid about 30 quid for it, 19 It's a lovely bottle design, yeah. I love it. So, yeah. yes, it's beautiful. And that's just the normal bottle design, not the, the yeah, fancy one. Yeah, that's not the fancy. But I think just... the limited editions only come in the 50 mils. Okay. Then... Naughty. <laughs> then online, on eBay, I saw this. You can't normally find these. They, they're discontinued. It's a shimmery powder that smells like the Souffle de Parfum. If you see them on eBay, they're about £100. This one came up at an auction, mm -hmm. so I got it for 30. Still a bit pricey for something to, let's be fair, is completely unnecessary. But well, the do whole hobby's unnecessary. So. <laughs> oh, wow, that was and actually worth get, doing that spray on camera. Yeah. And then you get um, yeah, this good. fine glitter, uh, and it smells the same as the mm. perfume. I love and that, I do. in your hair to make your hair look sparkly. <laughs> I like that. I don't normally like those no. things, but I like it I think it when it comes one. to powder puffs. Yeah, then you want one. Yeah. So um, that's... Okay, I can see why you were tempted to get that. Yeah. So from the same house, I bought this one from a fragrance friend online on mm -hmm. Facebook. This is Terracotta, and it's from Galan. And it's... I really like you this. You like this one a yeah. lot, don't you? Love it. And it smells like oh. flowers at the beach. Yeah. Sun tan Suntan lotion. lotion. Beautiful. Really, really nice. Yeah. So Guys, you could consider wearing that. Yeah, and think? I got that for yeah, I think so. And I got that for a good price, only about twenty quid. I'll just show you the bottle. Mm. Yeah, Terracotta by Guerlain, and it's got a brilliant bottle with the sun yeah. design. I love that. And that yeah, was like nice, twenty quid. It? Yeah. Was it hundred mil? Yeah. Brilliant. Look out for that one. Under the radar <laughs> gem, I think. Right, so the next one 
is Agnes the Infidels. Aha. Uh -huh. Which is a lovely citrusy, mm. incense-y. Yeah, love it. Slightly floral, very exotic fragrance. I used to have a bottle, I ran out, and then on eBay this one came up and I managed to get it for less than 50 quid. So wow. I, uh, normally 125 quid for these, so I'm really happy to have that back in my collection. Really nice. Uh, really good fragrance, I like that. Incense lot. and florals and citrus. All sorts, resins. Um, it's got all the notes listed there. Yeah, and it's natural perfumes, it's, everything's natural in there. Brilliant. But it still has really good lasting power, which is amazing. Yeah, which supposedly they don't, if mm. they're natural. Yeah. Anything else? Oh, what else? Oh, just this one here. This was actually sent to me. I didn't pay for it. Uh, Osmanthus Noble is a new fragrance released by the House of Exaltatum. I'm not sure if I'm saying it right. Okay. Um, if you smell Osmanthus that. Osmanthus Noble, right? Yeah, and I've got the notes on my phone. Okay. So, I really like this one. I think it's very exotic smelling. It smells a little bit oody, so I'm a little bit nervous of wearing it. So I've still got to wear it and so I can give it a proper review. Mm -hmm. um, jasmine, spicy tobacco, warm amber, osmanthus, ylang ylang, sandalwood. Uh, it's got black cherry, saffron and tonka. Mm -hmm. So, it's, I mean, the notes sound amazing, don't they? Yeah. And the perfumer is Eglisia Veitkovic. Wow. That's hard to say. Yeah, I was probably not saying that correctly. Sorry if we... Yeah. <laughs> um, launched this year and uh, you can find it on Fragrantica if you want to read all about yeah. it. Uh, Should I'm we just say the company's name? Just so we get... It'll save yeah, me having to type it Good luck with that then. Yeah. Uh, it's by... Uh, that one there. Exalt... Oh, sorry. Exaltatum. Yeah, Exaltatum. No, oh, by Noble Exalt. No, 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 no. That's, oh, sorry, yeah. It's also the, the, Noble yes. by Exaltatum. There you go. And they're I really like that. Okay. Yeah, okay, yours. My haul then, well, it included Versace Man that I got recently, but I have put that in a video since, so I guess it's not brand new, but brand new since we did a frag chat and we've talked about that. Really like it. The other thing I got the other day or a week ago was Gaultier Squared, a really nice vanilla uh, combination vanilla with some lemel esque elements. I and said stuff. it reminded me of Nikos Sculpture. Ah, uh, yes. But also does have that lemel musky sweet vibe. So, yeah. It's if quite you nice. like gourmands, that's well worth checking out and uh, rare, hard to find, but I managed to pick one up in a an old chemist. This is totally, you know, never talked about this one, and this is Paco Rabanne Pour Homme O. Uh, now discontinued. Oh. Uh, oh 2002 <laughs> release. And obviously a flanker to pack over and pour on, but much more fresh and all green and maybe a little bit aquatic. Did I what try did you... this yesterday yes. and not like it? No, you liked it. Did this is like the one it? you liked. Oh, okay. You said it was um, fresh and uh, you uh, just spray a bit on there. Yeah, you know you liked this. You really liked it. Okay. I had a few drinks yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I couldn't. I did almost <laughs> forced myself to, but I was mm. still recovering. Come on, sweetie. Uh oh, photo bombing <laughs> coming up. Come on in, darling. What do you Who get shows? out of? Hello. <laughs> um, yes, it's a very much in the vein of your kind of fresh fragrances, like your Armani, mm -hmm. O oh, oh, okay. and your Chanel Paul Monsieur. That oh, okay. is, it feels oh, right. to me a bit like that. Okay. I, it's very fresh and uh, yeah, it's citrusy, aquatic sort of take with a little bit of greeny and maybe fougere things, maybe a bit of mint, that kind of thing, a bit of a water herbally. lily kind of feel, mm. herbally green, really nice, very different freshy and discontinued, but if you can pick one up for a low price, Paco Rabanne Eau Pour Homme is worth checking out. And almost there then, I also, oh yeah, this is exciting, I got Guerlain, Claire will approve, yes, Eau de definitely. Cologne Imperial, and it smells like... 4711. Yeah. Like 4711. I think it performs a bit similar as well from so my quick far, test this yeah. morning. Night, lovely, brilliant citrus, very, very transparent, soft citrus kind of smell though, like 4711, great sort bottle. Of herbal bracing. Yes, a little bit old fashioned, yeah. old ladies cologne thing going on there a bit, but mm. really nice, high quality, so, uh, and a lovely bottle, nice of course. Bottle with you always... perfume is name on it. Yes, uh, which was uh, Pierre Francois Pascal Guerlain, 1853. It was for Napoleon okay. III's wife that they produced it first. Also, I've got Floris 89, the subject of my last video, a real gentleman's cologne. I was wondering, wondering what you were going to say then. What? The subject of my last... Oh, video. What, did I not finish the sentence? No, no, no. Okay. I'm just being rude. 
Right, moving swiftly. Oh, right. God. <laughs> That's gone way over my head. Yeah, I'm sure you got it, viewers. So, uh, Flois 89, a ch- ch- traditional gentleman's soapy kind of cologne, quite floral, and it's got rose and bitter citrus. Boring. Claire did not like that one. It's, so it's just a bit cold my... and austere. Should austere say. is the word, yeah. Yeah. A bit like me. <laughs> so, um, that's that. Okay. Those were our hauls, and we'll move on. Maybe I can just go off topic. Yes. And talk about Sweetie for a minute. Ah, yes. Poor little Sweetie has been to the vets several times in the last couple of weeks. Uh, we finally got to the bottom of what's wrong with her because she's been off her food and um, just not very well. The vet thought she had cystitis, but actually we've now found out she had a scan this week and she has a little blockage from, apparently the kidney has a, has a couple of pipes that go into the bladder and the entrance to the bladder, one of those pipes is semi-blocked. So poor little baby just has a little bit of a, a wee problem. <laughs> It's not funny, sorry. And it's not, um, sorry. It's not treatable. But it's the reason why she's appearing to have kidney problems, but actually it's, it's not that she has kin- kidney failure. Yeah. It's just that she has a problem with this little blockage. Right. So we can't do anything about it. We just have to make sure she's okay. And so it's, it's she's not, not it, it's something that she can manage with, isn't she's it? Been so living it's, with you're, it you're not saying she's... In no, no, dire no, trouble no. here, are you? She's been living with it no. for a long time. It just means that maybe it's a bit uncomfortable to go for a wee. Um, but she seems okay, doesn't she? Yeah, no, she seems in good spirits lately. So, yeah. uh, But it, it was good news that she hasn't got the kidney disease that you thought she had. Yeah. But on, on the other hand, this blockage doesn't seem something they can clear. No. So it's going to be ongoing. So she will have to just live with it, unfortunately. But manageable and not probably not it life-threatening. Might, no, she might yeah. end up with... You know, problems and have to go to the vets here and there, but yeah, um, she might be a bit high maintenance. Yeah, okay, so yeah, fingers crossed there, but she mm-hmm. seems all right, uh, she seems happy <laughs> enough. She got a few horrible bits, shaved. so they shaved her, which you feel sorry for them, don't you, when it's like that. But she's lively enough, she was causing trouble this morning, wasn't she? Jumping yeah, all over yeah. the place, showing off. So, um, she's uh, okay. yeah, so that's sweetie now. We hope, fingers crossed, pray for, <laughs> for hashtag, hashtag, yeah. hashtag pray for sweetie. Yeah, uh, b- blogs. We're going to try and start blogs. Yeah, well, we kind of have. Um, we've got websites up. I did put a couple of bits on my website ages ago and then forgot about it. Mm-hmm. So we are going to both yeah. um, update our own blogs okay. with some perfume reviews and stuff, aren't we? Written yes. reviews. We're going to exercise our writing hands exercise our pens yes, yes. and our typing fingers um, <laughs> but we if, if we think there's anything worth showing you on there we'll put the link in now or we might update you later on that yeah, and yeah. yeah but we, I've, got, I've got a website too and I've written about one review but I'm be hoping interesting to, to know if any of our viewers would actually be interested in reading written reviews because it seems there's a kind of a divide you either do YouTube or you do written reviews yes exactly so you would wonder do, if there would be some people that would be interested in can you read and is your ex- <laughs> or do you have a YouTube attention span question, of only three minutes? The question is, can we write? Yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's the other question, yeah. But uh, if you've made it this far in the video, you probably have quite a good attention span because yes. we've been on for a while. So uh, maybe you could read our blog too. Uh, but let us know what you think about that idea. Now, moving on to a controversial oh, subject, yes. it's Jeremy Fragrance. So, shall I say yes. what happened? To cut it short, basically, a while back he started a Patreon account, which is a thing where people pay him money to help fund his YouTube channel, and that's very common and pretty normal for a lot of other big YouTube channels, but was a bit, not everyone liked it in the FragCon. Um, so, yeah, he was saying it's only to help me do the fragrances and, and that kind of thing, but now he's posted on Instagram quite a few pictures looking rather pleased that he's got a nice shiny red Ferrari. <laughs> so, some people naturally have said, Well, I thought I was, you really needed this money to help you to be able to go full time but the fact that you obviously you can buy a Ferrari mm. <laughs> you ain't struggling that much and you weren't so they, they feel some people feel that that's not good yeah. what do you think about that Claire? well it wasn't like he said he was a charity no so in that respect you know what he spends his money on is up to him yeah but I, I mean I probably don't really understand why anyone would give him money in the first place no, I, I wouldn't. You know, like you can watch his particularly... videos anyway. Uh, he's no. not a, a charity case. So, mm. um, yeah, I don't really get it. I can understand why some people that have given him money might feel a bit annoyed that he's now flaunting a Ferrari. Yeah. 
But okay. What do you think? Uh, yeah, I, well, I, I don't have a problem with Patreon because I can see that it clearly is in other fragrance communities. No one, most of them think that's fine, YouTube, and everyone has YouTube one. Uh, uh, sorry, yeah. yeah, sorry. Other YouTube communities, it's just kind of standard, and it's mm. the way things are done, and it's a way you can make money off your channel. So why wouldn't you do it? Um, so that's the way that I wouldn't have one. I don't think myself a Patreon yeah. account, and personally, yeah, like you, I, it wouldn't be the top of my list to spend money on. Patreon channel of someone that no. I can normally watch anyway, but I don't have a moral problem with it. It's there and it's it's optional mm. um, And also I don't I don't think it's shocking or surprising that he's got a Ferrari and Yes, what are you saying if you if you have a patreon channel you can't have any nice things or well, any luxury thing. things like, you, you have to be if poor yeah, if you're gonna get upset, familiar, you need to yeah. get upset about the watch that he's wearing the yeah, design yeah. The suit that he's wearing. Where do you draw the line? Yeah, yeah. what so, is he does he have to have a like monk-like frugal life yeah. and only buy fragrances so and I'm yeah other people are saying he doesn't own the Ferrari they're saying that he's hired it okay so, so there's it doesn't, another aspect to yeah, it yeah he may have just been leased it or well, whatever he might even have been like paid but it might even be a May, sponsorship yeah maybe Galan or, have well, oh, you know, allegedly or whatever a fragrance company mm. that he's connected with may have provided a lovely car for, for him so I, yeah, I'm not. It doesn't upset me, but um, obviously a lot of people didn't like it, and I did put a joke in my intro of my video, but I was only kidding. And I don't, I do like Jeremy. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> um, okay, that's nearly so, it. We're nearly there. Apart from me getting dumped. Yes. <laughs> okay, we, so, I probably should mention at the beginning because people might stay tuned okay. to hear us. I'll, I'll mm. cut me in at the beginning mm. saying that. Anyway, so we we are no longer together as a romantic couple. No. Okay. But as you can see, we are friends. We are very good friends, we are and we go on. We're gonna we're gonna carry on doing frag chats, and we're gonna we're staying in touch. It's yeah. just that it hasn't worked out in the romantic. No. Time. And um, yes, your, your failure to perform in. <laughs> Only joking, of course. No. Well, <laughs> it was it was Claire's choice, and um, uh, it was uh, understandable though, uh, because uh, although we. So have we a, don't need to go into Well, it. okay. It was, it was your choice that we didn't want. Mm -hmm. You didn't want to go forward, but I have accepted it. And uh, the way things were going, we just didn't quite work out on a practical level, uh, which was just very sad. Certain things are getting in the way. Yeah. Just distance being a big factor as well. Well, yeah. Well, that, we we lived a long way away, mm -hmm. so I used to be over here at the weekends, and it, it was a it was a difficult situation. And but we are both grown up and nice people, and we yes. have so much in common and, and good friendship. We have a lot of love for each other. Yeah, there is that, and so we will continue to uh, put out content, hopefully, yeah, all being well, obviously there may be challenges ahead, but we, we are great friends yes. and we're gonna continue doing the channel and I'm still, you know, I'm working on it guys. <laughs> uh, but no, I have, I have accepted Claire's decision and the main thing is just to, to keep what we do have, which is a great hobby and friendship and yeah. to put out fun videos. Yes. Is that all right? Yes. Is that acceptable? That's fine. Okay, so commiserations welcome in the uh, <laughs> comments below, but I'm I'm okay and so are you, aren't yeah, you? Yeah. We're happy and, uh, we enjoy doing the videos and there's going to be lots more. Yes, so definitely. So I think, is that? Yes, we've done wrap? nearly half an hour, so I'll yeah. probably cut a few minutes out, yeah. but um, I think that was good going. Thank you ever so much <laughs> for joining us. Give us your feedback on any of the topics we covered, what you would like us to do next, that kind of thing. Yeah, you can shape our next... Yes, um, we do want... What do you call it? Episode. Exactly. We want Episode. your input and we're a bit more laid back about what we put in these, so it can be stuff that's off the radar and doesn't necessarily get clicks yeah. and stuff. Um, Any topics at all you want us to cover, yes. let us know. Okay, thank you very much for watching. We'll see you in the next video. See ya. Bye bye.